Welcome to room 919. It's been a while since we've been here. Take three. Ah, oh, you know we're back to the third period. We make sure to tell Ava and Eve, and Rachel, Helen, all you guys, make sure, yes, you can eat your food. Just make sure you don't make too much noise. Um, if you can, Alexis and Roberto and Joseph, all you guys, make sure you've got those phones and you know, you guys, just make sure they're put away and you guys are listening to me. Um, it wouldn't be third period without us. Hey, Dorian, do make sure, I mean, you've got those two drinks, but make sure to at least share some of them with Alondra and Abigail. That's, you know, it's only fair. Um, over there, Cahill, you know, I really miss you and everything, but hey, make sure, you know, you can charge that phone and everything, and you and Ella are working over there, but make sure you're focusing on me and everything, and yeah, Ella, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll choose some number. I don't want you to have me choose one number that one time. And then Ashley and Eugenio and Lupe, hey, nice to see you guys on in here. Thanks just after the bell. Nice to see you. Um, Josiah, hey, haven't seen you in the first period, but hey, make sure you're just staying with me. I know you're a little tired. Um, put that head down, but at least be listening to me right there. All right, and let's get started with third period. So what I'm going to do first, uh, third period, is make sure um, from the get-go we understand that all communications, when you're getting a hold of me, because there's just way too many different ways that information can be hitting us and that you could be getting informa information, at least for my class, um, it is going to go through joe.hurtado at lmusd.org. Um, one of the other things I'm using during this time is if you have questions, <clears throat> literally week by week, I'm making sure they're all in one area. It's a thing called Flipgrid. Um, I've used it uh, various other ways in smaller uh, quantities, but I've never used it for office hours or for people to ask me questions. And so part of your assignment tonight, your first night, is just to go on to Flipgrid and just make a post on there and let me know that you have a uh, connection with it. And so you'll see, I think it's already posted to Google Classroom. So if you need to communicate with me in an email, it could be joe.hurtado at lmusd.org or if you need some actual explanation, you need to be able to show me something that you can't put into words, but you want to visually show me, um, Flipgrid will be the way that we can do that. Uh, many times I'm going to try to videotape answers to um, many common questions that we have. So hopefully it'll answer it as we're doing work um, out of the book. But uh, if you have questions, you can also post it in a video format um, on Flipgrid, uh, unless you want to somehow put it onto YouTube and then send that question to me through uh, joe.hurtado at lmusd.org and film your question because sometimes that may just be visually a little bit easier. So again, everything's going through that. Uh, you could try voicemail, but the problem with that is that we're not always able to get it um, from home. And so that's a little more cumbersome. We can come down to the school, but they're trying to keep us away. And so that is probably going to be the best way. Um, the other thing is that all assignments, all instruction will go through Google Classroom. And so we won't be sending it any other way. Um, every day when you start up, just check in. You can check emails, but all assignments, all communication, everything from me, at least, will be going through Google Classroom. Uh, some days I will have a instruction video there that's going through and actually doing the lesson. So I may do a 10 to 15 minute video of myself doing half the uh, section or chapter. Um, as you go through, there may be questions or a online kind of Google Forms quiz to kind of just uh, check in that's, uh, that you know what's going on. Um, nothing that you have to stress out and say, hey, it's a quiz that's getting turned in. It's mostly for you to check and see if you know what's going on. Um, and uh, throughout the time, though, I will have, instead of turning in big, giant assignments, um, we will have assignments that do come out of the book, and then I will just do select problems um, that I will go over, and um, we will be trusting that just you're doing them a long way because it's going to help you, and I'll be able to tell by the question I'm getting that people are doing them. So there will be videos that give instructions, ones that have sometimes questions uh, attached to them so that you can kind of check if you know what's going on. And then other ones are just like uh, Google form type quizzes, but they're not all the problems out of the book, just a few of them. So everything will be going through Google Classroom. And again, not trying to overwhelm. We know you're trying to balance a lot of things, both yourself getting school done, maybe all other brothers, sisters, other little ones in the house. Mom and dad are also trying to keep work going. Sometimes there's only one laptop or computer in the house which uh, lends itself to sometimes being, I know, crazy right now as we're all becoming aware uh, as teachers in education. So again, what seems kind of simple um, may be a little more challenging sometimes. So we're going to try to um, keep everything just going as smooth as possible in the sense that there'll be small amounts of work, small little check-ins, but not big giant assignments that you're having to type everything into Google Classroom. Um, just to kind of give you some ease, this is literally what it's going to look like for the next three weeks. So we have three weeks until it would be our normal spring break. 
Um, and so today is the 23rd through 27th. We're going to, uh, tonight's first assignment is actually just getting on the flip grid and just making sure to do a post so that I know you're all with me. If I don't hear from you by Friday, I will be making calls or emails home or just checking in with you to make sure um, there's not any problems with technology and that you're able to get on um, in case you want to use it or in case I'm using Flipgrid as a communication tool. So tonight's assignment, literally just get on, make a little you know, 20 second, 30 second post or whatever you want to put for uh, math class. I'm do also doing it with my health class, but for you it's just simple. Let me know you're there. Give me a shout out. Tell me what you're doing to keep happy and healthy or whatever. And then we'll go through 7.5 and 7.6. We've actually already started 7.5 before you left. That was a foil, right? First, outer, inner, last. But instead of getting the answer, starting off with a question, getting the answer, we're going backwards with the answer and then trying to figure out what numbers we foil to get that. Then it just gets a little bit more um, sophisticated as we go on to 7.6, 7.7 7 next week, and then 7.8 on the final week. So that's literally week by week, just one section bite size. Each uh, time I will try to do just a few examples from the sections out of the book like we do in class. Try to give you maybe examples to try on your own with answers so you know what it's supposed to be. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to get yourself through and get all this stuff as we make our way through the next few weeks. Um, then after the 10th there you see on uh, April 10th we'll go off to spring break and then after that on April 20th we should be either coming back or making a decision what's going on long term and so hopefully I'm sitting with all your happy faces right here in third period since I love my third period. Now hopefully you can uh, kind of see this here. I know there's a bit of glare on the board right here, but I want to kind of show you that hopefully we can make this a little bit predictable uh, for you kind of day by day. You can understand what's coming and what we'll be doing. You know, as you're trying to juggle a bunch of different variables of other classes and other things in the house and um, whatever's going on in everybody's life as we're all kind of sitting at home, stuck in a house, Sometimes more people than have always been together all at the same time. We can get you at least some uh, bit of predictability here, at least in the algebra class. Uh, if you look at this and we go through, you'll see there's kind of a pattern that like today we're going to start off intro video at the beginning of each week. So this week we'll have a video. Next week we'll have a video. Uh, each day is kind of intro video, just kind of introducing what's going to happen from the week. Um, and then we'll start jumping into lessons. Um, for this week, um, when we're starting off, we're going to do this intro video we're doing here and then Flipgrid. All I want you to do tonight is just make sure to get on, make some kind of thing so I can see your faces since I'm missing all your faces and let me know that you're also on to Flipgrid uh, in case you do have questions that you want to ask me or if I have an assignment that somehow entails that, if I have to change my directions, it's a great way to do that. Um, and then tomorrow we'll step, step into 7.5. Seven, seven We've already done some of this, so again, just kind of a quick review where we're going this and then as it gets more sophisticated, it's going back to the same thing. What what are we multiplying um, together? X plus one, X uh, in parentheses times X plus four, whatever the original numbers were. Um, again, when we did FOIL, it's just going backwards. So we'll just do a quick review, jog that memory if you kind of forget. Um, and then we're gonna start jumping right into the lessons. I will each day try to do, hopefully no more than about 10, 15 minute lesson, going through the problems, having some examples, working them out, um, trying to figure out a way so you can have some examples that you can try there and get immediate responses right back. Um, so I may do it through, I've got play with a couple of different ways. Google Classroom also has Google Quizzes where I can put videos and you can see and I can do some explanation as practice. So I can kind of trick it into being a way to help you practice. <clears throat> so we'll go do a lesson on 7.6 um, and then we'll have some practice. Uh, and then you'll make sure to turn in any of that stuff that I have you as a practice. Many times it's just going to be some kind of Google form or something where it has the answers, multiple choice. You'll know if you've done it correctly or incorrectly by it telling you if you got the right answer. Um, and then hopefully if it's really complicated or anything that's coming out of the book, uh, sometimes there's five or six questions that they say, okay, here's the whole entire homework assignment, two through 29 odd, but then we pick out certain ones that we actually go through and we do. And so that may be the way that we do it there for this one. Uh, as we go into next week, the same thing's going to happen. We'll have a quick little intro video. Hey, how's the week going? Get everything going. And then do a lesson for 7.6, 7 7.6. Usually two parts to each chapter, the way I'm breaking up. So there's going to be part A and part B. Um, so we'll start off with the first part, 7.6A. We'll do the lesson. Um, probably be a practice or two on that lesson the next day. We'll just have some problems and a way to go through and actually practice it and for you to, be able to check if you've got the correct answer. Um, and then on Wednesday, We'll do the second part of 7.6, so part A and part B. So we'll do part B for the lesson. I'll do a video lesson, try to go through teach it. Um, and then there'll be some practice for you and a way for you to check if you're doing it correct. Um, and then if you have questions, you'll probably be shooting me either emails, 
through Flipgrid, put it onto a YouTube video, and then send it to me at joe.hurtado at lmusd.org so I can see the video there. So again, if you need me to visually see what's going on and I need to respond back, that could be one way to do it. So again, we'll have to get kind of creative on how we're doing this. Um, at the very, very um, uh, extreme end of it, if we need to, a lot of teachers right now, we've all been trained on Google Meet, which is kind of like Google Hangouts where we can do um, discussions with Google Meet, I think we can definitely have the entire class on at one time. So that may be something that we look into and say, hey, Hurtado, um, can we try to do an entire class just at the exact same time we ignore Meet? I don't know. We'll see how that plays out. But we've been trained on Google Meet and how to use it um, with all of our students. And there's enough space that we can have easily 30 people in one class all at one time. I'm talking. So that would be the, the week. Again, Part A, practice. Part B, practice and then just checking in in a catch-up day or somehow getting caught up with you if people have individual questions. If we go to the next week, same thing. We're gonna have 7.7, .7, part A and part B. So the first part of the week, quick little intro video, do a lesson. Um, next day, part 7.7, .7, part A, practice. So we had the lesson, the practice. Then we go to 7.7, .7, part B, the second part. There's kind of like two halves to each uh, section. So we'll go through, do the lesson, have some practice. And then again, if I need to catch up, and then after that, we go into spring break. And so hopefully, after that point, I get to see, like I said, those smiling faces. I, I miss, I, I love being at home, getting stuff done, but I really miss being in the classroom. So I hope to get back with all of you after that spring break um, and be here in the classroom. If not, best wishes to you, and we will somehow figure it out because it's my third period. <laughs>